Okay, in this presentation we are going to try out some uh, machine learning tools on some data sets that are uh, quite commonly encountered. I'm not going to, uh, essentially what I've done here is I've set up, uh, set myself up in Azure Notebooks and what I'm about to do is install some packages. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually install a package called Random Forest. Just watch out for the name there. It's lowercase r, capital F. Okay, so it's camel case as they call it. Okay, so Random Forest. So the capital F is in the middle. Okay, uh, the data set I'm going to use is installed from a package called uh, LM Stat Learn, which is a book. Okay, so there we go. I'm going to install Random Forest here. There we have it done and now I'm going to just call the library so uh, random forest library random forest type RF news to see the new features changes bugs and so on okay so that's random forest all set up for me what I'm going to do now is use a data set called the South African heart disease data set okay and it's in, contained in a package called LM stat learn okay this is from a book and it's a data set that is uh, attached to this package okay so i have to install this package lem stat learn okay and do something similar there just call the package it just takes a second there and in azure notebooks okay so it should pop up now any second and what i'm going to do there is there we go uh well it should it's almost ready is i'm going to call the package and let's do that and call the data set. So I'll just let those uh, cells uh, compile. Okay. A little bit. So there we go. So the data that is all set up there. So I have this data set. It's in it's in LM stat learn. It's called S A capital S A heart, and it's do heart disease essentially. So I'm going to type the help file here. So just have a quick look at what it's about. And I just like I'll let you do this yourself and have a good read through of it there. So this is the help file for the data set. Okay, and it's uh, again South African heart disease. I think that's a, a typo there. That's not my typo, but it's a typo. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that's how it means something from what I think it means. Okay, so uh, reading through it here, a data frame with 462 observations and the following 10 variables systolic blood pressure, tobacco. Uh, there's other ones there, LDL, adiposity, family history, type A, obesity, alcohol age, and CHD. Okay, now it sort of says here CHD is coronary heart disease and it's the response variable. So essentially this is what we're trying to predict. Okay, so if we actually, I'm going to close this down now, and if we actually look at the data set, uh, we get a sense of what's going on here. So just to call the head, which is the first six cases, okay head of SA heart there are there's a, a bunch of numeric data okay uh, the family history there is uh, is there as well and we have CHD okay so that's grand I think that's everything sort of set up the CHD is going to be our response variable and we're going to we're going to sort of take a very naive approach here okay so essentially um, well, you can sort of see so this is essentially going to fit a random forest uh, model okay now CHD is our response variable okay and the dot means all of the other variables okay and data equals SA heart now just for this video I'm not doing anything like training or testing data sets now that that would be important I'm just trying to keep things as simple as possible okay and I'm going to call this SARF like South African Heart Disease Random Forest Model okay now I'm going to run into trouble here when I run this warning okay the response has five or fewer unique values are you want to are you sure you want to do regression okay it's this is a sort of odd thing to say to me but actually it's not really okay if you think about it so let's actually think, why does it think I'm trying to do regression? Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to call a package called dplyr because I want to use a command called glimpse. Okay, and what I'm going to do is here is have a look at all of the variables in this data set. Okay, now uh, SBP is an integer, uh, tobacco is a double or is a real number. Okay, 
Uh, LDL, adiposity, also real numbers. Uh, family history is a factor, okay, present or absent, okay. But looking down the bottom, we see CHD is uh, an integer, okay. That's not exactly what we're intending. We actually intend this to be a categorical variable. So uh, one is the presence, it's a, it's a binary variable. One is the presence of coronary heart disease and zero is the absence of coronary heart disease. So essentially what we should be looking at is a factor. So what I'm gonna do is actually rerun the analysis. Uh, family history there is okay. It's already set up as a factor, okay? So that's essentially what's going wrong, okay? So I'm about to run the analysis again, okay? And this time it just works a treat, okay? So I could do a little summary of it there. I don't know, uh, SARF, let's see, summary of SARF. Look, let's look at that. Uh, I mean, it's not, it's not that it is, um, you know, you can like pick out the importance and so on. Uh, there's a, a couple of things you do sort to review the model there, but I'm going to sort of I'm not going to get too much into that yet. Okay, so to how to appraise a random forest model will be uh, something to do later on. Okay, but just in the meantime, we'll just sort of see how the model worked. So what we could do here is see what was predicted for each case. Okay, so the predict is like yes or no, ones or zero for each of the 462 cases. So for case one, it predicts yes, coronary heart disease. Two and three, no, no coronary heart disease is predicted. Four is yes, and so on, okay. Now, that let's just actually see how we actually get on, okay, in terms of uh, how well this model did, okay. So what I'm gonna do here is just come up with a, a table to sort of like essentially it's a sort of a confusion matrix okay so i'm going to cross tabulate the card the actual observed values and the predicted values okay so this is what they call essentially a confusion matrix okay and that is what i get and essentially that's not great okay so i get an overall Essentially, the diagonal elements, I get 250 correctly identified as zeros. I get 71 correctly, correctly identified, predicted as ones, okay. But I'm misclassifying um, 89 plus 52, which is 141. So essentially, I'm not doing that great here at all, to be honest with you. So uh, 321 out of 462 is my accuracy. So essentially, I've only got about, s just sh sh slightly short of 70% uh, correct. And that's uh, account that's already allowing for the fact that there is a massive amount of um, zeros there, class and balance question, which is the class and balance. So we'll leave it there, that's enough of that. Uh, that's essentially how we do things. Random forest, let's just go back up to the main thing there, which I have highlighted. Just watch out for the, the, the actual data object and make sure that the output, sorry, the response is a factor if you're trying to do classification, okay? If you're trying to do a regression, you just leave it alone, okay? Just so, so watch out for the types there, okay? Okay, we'll leave it there.